So like, he did that in a very public space. And it's, on, it's terrifying. Tonight, a breaking news update to a story we first brought you earlier this evening. Just within the last two hours, police took a man accused of groping a 10-year-old in a Portland grocery store into custody. Police say the man's name is Adam Caldwell. He's been charged with sex abuse in the third degree. k 2 son Vivarma has been covering this story. So how did police find Caldwell? Police released information about the suspect to press this afternoon. Then they told us at about 7.30 tonight, someone saw the suspect and called 911. Police went to Southeast 52nd and Duke and arrested 42-year-old Adam Caldwell. He's now at the Multnomah County Detention Center. Tuesday night, Portland police booked 42-year-old Adam M. Caldwell into jail on charges of sex abuse in the third degree. In the uh, evening hours of uh, June 20th, uh, 2024, uh, a dad and his two girls were grocery shopping and uh, the one of the, the two little girls went off without their dad to get some caramel for dessert and the dad heard one of the little girls scream and uh, when he turned around the two girls were running to him. Police say the alleged incident happened at a grocery store near Southeast Hawthorne and Cesar Chavez. Video surveillance did in fact capture on video a male from age, a white male, age 37 to 55, about five foot seven to six foot, um, grab the 10 year old's buttocks um, and then leave the store. After hearing about the allegations, people in the neighborhood tell us they were outraged, especially 15 year old Denali Kenny, who says it's unfair that incidents like this happen. He felt comfortable enough to do that in a public store with cameras and lights everywhere and people everywhere. like. This happened like most of my friends can't and won't walk alone downtown or in these areas. And sometimes I even get nervous and only stick to really like populated routes. But hearing that some guy just did that even in a super populated space. Parents telling us incidents like this one are why they're so cautious with their kids. That's why we're always trying to keep her by us and telling her always to stay around. Make sure you're by your mom and dad. Though some community members are not surprised. Very shocked, um, but sadly not surprised. You know, things like that happen in the community, and it's pretty sad. We reached out to Fred Meyer, which is a grocery store located in the area where the incident happened, and they sent us a statement reading, Fred Meyer is working in full cooperation with the Portland Police Department, and we encourage anyone with helpful information to contact local law enforcement. As of now, Portland police say they're actively investigating the alleged incident. They say they are thankful for the community's help in finding the suspect. In the studio, Tanvi Verma, K2 News.